my name's Shannon Ryan, I'm the head and teaching professional here at Oxford Golf Club in Brisbane. I brought Andrew Duffin down here today to help me with one of these clips. Uh, Andrew is an ex-touring professional, he played the tour for five years. He does an awful lot of playing lessons here, he's happy to help. Very good instruction as far as managing his way around the golf course and helping you manage your way around the golf course. So today I've asked Andrew down here to help me with, uh, for me I see a lot of problems with people's clubs. The two things in, in, the, in the golf swing, two variables in the golf swing, number one is the person and how we can help them. Number two is the equipment. If you try and work on the, the person and the equipment's wrong, you're basically fighting an uphill battle the whole time. The, one of the big things we see people have a problem with is the length and the lie. Today we'll be talking about the clubs being either too long or too short. I'm not going to get into lying because that's a whole other clip. So, Andrew, if we get Andrew into a normal athletic setup for a golf club that is the right length, these have been custom made for him. I'm a title made ambassador, Andrew is a title ambassador here at Oxford Golf Club. So his has been fitted for him and might have been fitted for me. So we're fortunate and we can pass that on to you guys. We can do that with you if you come to us, as can most professionals. So, as you can see from where Andrew is, we've got a nice neutral posture. Everything's set up nice and athletic. So if these clubs were too short, so I'll get Andrew to grip down maybe a little bit further. And what happens is there's three or four things that can happen when a club's too short. So you can either reach your arms down, which pulls your shoulders down, which creates a big C posture once again. That, once again, limits your ability to turn. So the other one is if it goes straight to back again, standing up, back to normal posture. Okay, so slide back down, and we've got way too much knee bend. Okay, so when we've got a lot of knee bend in there, there's, there is a possibility that there's going to be way too much movement in the golf swing of your knee. So that's going to create all sorts of different variables. This down here, so go back to normal for me. This down here should be the, the, the house you swing the rest on. It should be a good, strong structure down here with very little movement so that you can turn your body around. When it's all too bent and everything's out, it's very hard to move powerfully. The third one is, if we go back to too, too short again, and we go lots from the hips. So when there's way too much bend from the hips and we've got the shoulders back, once again, that, that typically results in a very steep takeaway and a very up and down choppy golf swing. But once again, we, we have to make sure you get fitted for your clubs. It's part of the service, part of what we do. And it's, part of, it's a very important part of getting you playing better, performing more powerfully and more consistently. We can do that with all the other clips we've helped you with here but typically we make sure the equipment's right. Once again, two variables, person and equipment, we get the equipment right. Hopefully this has been helpful and I hope you've enjoyed the clip. Thank you.